In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the details to your t-shirt garment flat on Adobe Illustrator. You can download this t-shirt flat file for free and follow along. Link is in the description. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Justin here and we're back with another video. Welcome to part two of this two part series. If you haven't seen part one, I break things down step by step in showing you how to create a basic t-shirt garment flat that you can use for your own clothing brand. You can click the link above or in the description to follow along. Now let's jump straight into part two. Continuing from part one, you should have the basic t-shirt flat which looks something like this. As I mentioned in the previous video, today we're gonna to be focusing on adding the rib lines to the neck collar, as well as the stitch lines to the edges of the t-shirt. Let's start with the neck collar. What you're gonna do is select the front and back parts of the neck collar. Hold Option, Shift, and click on the edges of the shapes and drag them over to the right side of the artboard to create a copy. Once you have that, Hold down Command C to copy and make another copy. Now you should have two of the same neck collar shapes. Next, you're gonna separate the front and back of one of the two neck collars you just created by clicking and dragging them apart. Once you have that done, you're gonna to go to the toolbar on the left side and select the fill to none and then click on the direct selection tool at the top. Click on the left end of the collar and hit delete. Repeat the same steps to the right side. And finally, select the smaller U-shape of the collar and hit delete. You should be left with the bigger U-shape. Now take that U-shape and drag it up to the second neck collar you created and try to center it between the top and bottom edges of the neck collar. If your line is underneath the shape, you can hold Command, Shift, and the end bracket to bring it up to the front. You're going to also click and drag the left and right sides inwards towards the center so that the U-shaped line fits in the middle, just like that. You're going to repeat the same steps and apply it to the back part of the neck collar. Once you have that done, go to the stroke menu and check the box that says dashed line. Now you'll see these options down below. Go up here and increase the weight until you see the lines extend past the edges of the collar. If you want, you can also go back down and play around with the dash and gap settings to how you want it. Next, you're gonna separate the front and back collars. If you notice some white space at the edges, you can always make adjustments to where you see fit. What you're gonna do now is bring the collar shape in front of the rib lines by holding down Command, Shift, and End bracket. Select both the rib lines and the collar, right click and select Make Clipping Mask. You're gonna repeat the same steps to the back neck collar piece. Once that's done, you can drag the two pieces you just created and center them onto the neck collar of the t-shirt flat. Now that the hard part is done, let's go into making the stitch lines starting at the bottom of the t-shirt. What you're gonna do is select the pen tool Start a new point by clicking on the left edge of the shirt and add the end point to the right side of the shirt. Remember, if you want to keep your line straight, you can hold down the shift key while making your lines. Next, you're going to go back to the stroke menu and make sure that the dashed line box is checked and make adjustments to the dash and gap. There's no wrong way to do this part. It's totally up to your preference. You can also make the lines thinner by adjusting the weight up top. Once that's done, you can copy the line by holding down Option, Shift, click and drag to make a duplicate line. Moving on to the sleeves, you're gonna repeat the same steps as you did with the bottom of the shirt. To copy the right side to the left, what you're gonna do is turn on the center guideline. Select both lines on the right and hit O on your keyboard to activate the reflect tool. Then you're going to hold down the Option key and click on the center guideline. The Reflect Tool dialog box should pop open. Make sure that vertical is selected and click Copy. Now the last step is to create the stitch lines on the neck collar. You're pretty much going to be repeating the same steps as you did before 
by making adjustments from the stroke menu with dash, gap, and weight. Once all that is done, you should have a t-shirt flat that looks something like this. If you made it this far into the video, I wanna thank you again for all the love and support. If you got something valuable from this video, drop a comment down below and let me know. Once again, thank you and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.